So, some of you may know that I have built my own custom camera trailer. If you don't know, this is my custom camera. And yes, this is a very good, capable camera trailer. One of the biggest downsides is we always have to bring along this. Yes, that is right, I'm talking about water. So today, we are putting its own water tank. Let's get into it. Alright guys, just before we start the video, I want to let you guys know, if this video reaches 75 likes, in the next episode, we're going to do our very first giveaway, and it's one you're not going to want to miss. If you love camp lights, you're going to love this one. So make sure you guys like and subscribe, and in the next video, we'll let you know how to win. Alright, so I took a quick trip to Super Cheap Auto to see what they had for me to put in my camp trailer, and they actually had quite a bit to price. We managed to pick up an Alco 62 litre water tank, and we've got some garden hose to run straight under it and all the fittings that come along with it. And some of you may be asking, well, how's that gonna work if it's, I don't have any pump? Yeah, I don't know either, we'll figure it out. No, but seriously, this would be very hard to use without a 12 volt pump. So I've got this one, a Smart Tech 12 volt pump, four point liters per minute, should do the trick perfectly. So the plan is on this side of the camp trailer to put a tap right here that hangs down so I can have running water just into a bucket or I can attach a hose or attach it straight to a sink when I eventually put one in this thing. And yes, I say eventually because when I say something's going to happen, give it three to four months and it'll be done. So the plan is mount that there, mount this under here, run it to the fuse box, run it to the switch, done, running order. Well, something like that. So what we're going to do is grab this seal tape, all these fittings and put them in there. All right, so, bit of a scenic change because, you know, me being me was like, oh, you know what, it's a nice day, let's go outside. But you know what, there's this thing called wind, so thanks wind. And to those three people at home who actually watch my videos thinking, oh, oh my God, he's putting a water tank in. How's he gonna know if he's nearly out of water? What, what an idiot. I'm one step ahead of you, got a water level gauge. Yeah, maybe an apprentice, but sometimes I do think, also, it wasn't actually me that got these water level gauges. It was actually Dad, so let's not tell him. But anyway, these are all in. You just got to tighten them up and get rid of those loose ends. And then we'll get to mounting the bilge pump. So that's the bilge pump all mounted. Make sure to use nylog nuts. As you can see, I've used some pretty good nylog nuts because you really don't want it coming loose. And yes, don't worry, I'll change them over. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this hose, I'm gonna cut it, cut off one of these ends here, and I'm gonna chuck it straight on the bilge pump, and I'll drill a hole with a gland straight down into there, and then I'll run it under the camper to the spot I want using P clamps. And I'll show you guys when it's done, it'll make more sense. But essentially, my way of thinking is the least amount of hoses in the camper, more underneath, the better, because I don't want any water around that. Because, you know, batteries are expensive, but they do not like water. Yeah, that's not working. So the hole is now all drilled. So all we need to do is connect the hose onto there, run it through there. But the only issue is I don't have a nut for the gland. So that can wait. And now we'll get to making the bracket for the water tank. So basically I've measured from that side to that side and it's 51 centimeters. And from the floor to the top, which is 18 centimeters. And then I'm gonna bend up a bracket goes over the top and connects to each side of the floor. So while 
those brackets are drying, what I'm going to do is wire it to this fuse box here, all the way from there, while nothing is in there, so it's easy to get to. And then it will all come off that switch panel over there, the main one for the whole system, so it should be pretty sweet. Alright guys, so now it's all run to this switch here, so I'll click this, you can hear it go off in the background. I've just put a 15 in amper in there for now, but in the next episode of the video, when the water's all in here and it's fully loaded, um, I'll show you how to check the amperage, how much it's drawing and what it should need. So yeah, that's just in there for now, it's not going to be final, I'll test it all after, but yeah. So now it's all working off that now. And my favorite thing about this switch panel is it comes with all this so I can get whatever I want on there, whatever I want it to say. So yeah, it's pretty good. All right guys, so the bracket's all made up. It'll be bolted down that side and on that side. All I need to do is put a bit of foam under here so it stops any rubbing happening. And that should be secure, nice and tight. The second one is already made. That's just being painted at the moment. I've just got that drying. So we've got the wiring done, bilge pump mounted, the tank nearly mounted. So all we've got to do now in the next video is mount the tap down here, put the level gauge in and yeah, it should be sweet. We should have some running water. All right guys, that's going to do me for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.